uh, hi in this video we are going to see how to integrate with slack from webmethod.io.integration so in order to do that i'll just create a new project i'll call this project name as slack integration project and i'll just create it so once it's created i'm going to create a workflow inside the project so there is no workflow under this project as it is a new project i'll just click this plus symbol in order to create the new workflow so i'll just name this uh, workflow as a i'll just edit this one and i'll change the workflow name basically i'm going to send some message uh, so i'll just uh, say this one as a channel integration workflow okay so basically we are going to use existing channel there i'm going to post some message okay so i'll just name this as a channel integration workflow and i'll just click done and here i'm going to search the slack and then i will i'll just select slack and then drag and drop into my canvas so now the start is connected here i'll just connect i'll i'll mouse over it and once i see the circle i'll drag and drop this button to arrow to stop button so now slack i need to configure i'll select the slack and i'll just double click it it's asking an action, uh, action. there i'll say i'm going to post a message to channel and which channel i'm going to post the message so there is a in my organization i have a slack account i'm going to authorize here so that webmethod.io integration can talk to my slack slack environment so in order to do that i'll just click this plus symbol and i say default organization and it's asking account name so i'll just say uh, this is a slack account for my organization okay so i'll just say tech lightning is my organization okay so this is a, just a name for my organization or my account so i'll just click that i'll provide that and i'll just click add so now it is asking lot of information if you see here it's asking what are the permission you wanted to give right so we wanted to give uh, for this demo i'll select all the check box where you know it can send the message and it can do uh, many options in our slack environment i'll allow this one so now i'll just click allow here so in this uh, browser i earlier connected to my slack login so that is why it's automatically selected the slack organization and also when i authorize it's able to connect it okay so now it's able to we have created the details and i'll just click next now and if you look at this one so this is the data i need to pass it in order to post the message to the channel so basically uh, the channel which i have right uh, it is the uh, private channel okay so i'll just keep private channel and we have to give a channel name here in order to post the data to my slack environment I'll log into my slack environment i logged in i'm going to send the message to this web methods io test channel okay so my current time is 11 11 i'm going to post some data so we have to give a channel id so i'll just copy this channel name and i'll just paste it here as a channel id and i'll say this is the test message or i'll say uh, hello from web methods io at i'll say time also 11 12 and then i'll just uh, see any other mandatory informations are there no so i'll just click next and if you want to test it you can click test so that uh, it will be able to test it and it will give the result as well so now it's connecting and it gave some information back i'll just go and see here see here there's a hello from web methods i wo at 11 12 so that's a message it's coming i'll just go to my i wo integration and i'll just click done okay so now uh, we have configured and we have tested also so i'll save this workflow so you can see the logging from here also the start time end time right so now i'll just run this workflow just to see we are getting one more message right so it's saying work workflow testing has started and uh, it come here it goes here and you are able to see the animation is getting changed right it it will go to here and also it's saying workflow testing is completed and you are able to see start and post message to channel where it is posting the message to this particular channel which is a private channel and we are sending this message 
So if I go and check again, right, you will be able to see one more message. See here, there is one more message, which means our web method IO is able to talk to the Slack channel. Okay, so we are able to integrate uh, or send anything to our Slack. So here I just hard coded the message, right? But in your actual environment, whatever the message you wanted to send it, you will map it from your previous step and you will connect to Slack in order to post the message to Slack channel. It's not only for posting because we have selected the post action, right? So here if you have a, you can even create a channel, you can create a private channel, public channel and uh, getting the channel details, what are the different channels you have available in your organization and you can do more stuff from this Slack integration using the Slack connector. Thank you.